The road ends for North Carolina this March in the Sweet 16 with a loss to Alabama by a score of 89 to 87. It's a tough finish to the season for the Tar Heels as the Crimson Tide held them off to reach the Elite Eight for only the second time in program history. Alabama's Grant Nelson took over late, scoring a season-high 24 points, 19 in the second half, and Carolina was done in by making too many mistakes down the home stretch. Just to highlight a few, Armando Baycott missing a dunk that would have pushed Carolina's lead to five and instead was a three-point swing in the Crimson Tide's direction. Jalen Withers taking an ill-advised shot with hardly over a minute left, failing to recognize the time and score in the moment before giving up an and one at the other end. And in a game where the margins were razor thin, those possessions are the difference between playing on Saturday and going home. There's a lot to get to. First, I want to be sure to give Cormac Ryan his flowers in his last game before I forget. Alabama's Mark Sears is about as good as it's going to get on this level as a scorer, and Ryan made him work for everything tonight. He's had his moments of inconsistency offensively this year. The one thing you can't do is question his heart. He played like a guy who wasn't quite ready to end his college career, keeping Carolina in it on both ends, knocking down five threes, trying to pick up his teammates when the going got tough. Ultimately fell short, but he's just one example on a roster full of them of a guy the fan base can look at and be thankful he chose to spend a year in Chapel Hill. All season, I've thought that Carolina has had to win with their defense, and even though they were trading baskets comfortably at times with Alabama throughout the night, the pace of the game felt frantic, favoring the Crimson Tide when you turn it into a shootout. The struggles defensively then got compounded when the shooting went ice cold. 25% in the second half, UNC's worst performance in a half in an NCAA tournament game since shooting 22.6% in the second half against Kansas in the 2012 Elite Eight. Tonight was the third lowest shooting percentage in an NCAA tournament half in UNC history. It's a tough way for R.J. Davis to go out with the ACC Player of the Year also shooting 25% from the field and failing to connect on a three-point attempt. The only game this season Davis did not make a three-point field goal. Tough to go into the locker room after the season crashes out like that and seeing the pain on the players' faces. Withers, who felt like he let this team and every fan down, Baycott not wanting to take off the Carolina jersey for one last time, and Davis with a towel over his head processing how he could have had an off night on a stage this big. This hurt is fresh, and it's going to sting for quite a while for that group. But this group can be proud of what they were able to accomplish this year, coming together, winning the regular season conference title, getting that one seed, advancing to the second weekend, and reminding everybody what Carolina basketball is supposed to look like when you play hard, you play smart, and you play together. And that was a together bunch that can hang their hat on the effort they put in to put Carolina basketball back on the map. Until next time, from Crypto.com Arena in Los Angeles, I'm Taylor Vipolis, signing off for Inside Carolina.